Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal and rogues have finally gotten an update, a very significant update on the War Within beta. As of this week, the beta has been released, the dungeons have been flooded by so many players, everybody is trying out all of the different tier sets and all the different hero specs that so many haven't really had to get their hands on up until this point. And Rogue, as one of my favorite classes in my current main on live, has finally gotten an update that a lot of us have been waiting for. You may have noticed that over the last few days and weeks of me talking about War Within, I've barely covered rogues because there just hasn't been anything to cover until now. As the hero spec of the trickster, one that is shared between subtlety and outlaw, has finally gotten the revamp that it desperately needed. And while there are still bugs to be had in the War Within beta, at least it's in a much better position where I think Rogue is actually starting to look a little bit brighter than ever before. So in today's video I wanted to go over everything new that is there for Trickster and how it's going to affect Outlaw and Subtlety. As always, if you guys want to see regular class updates like these for War Within beta, follow the channel. Otherwise, let's dive right in. So one of the bigger changes happening for rogues is going to be big adjustments to the hero talents for a trickster. In fact, I'm going to guess right now that all of the rogue hero talents are probably going to go through quite a bit of changes. I've seen a lot of updates regularly for mages, death knights, warlocks, and rogues. I've had updates here and there, but there's also elements in these hero talents that don't necessarily function. But it looks like they're slowly starting to make some regular updates for rogues based on on rogue community suggestions so feedback is being listened to and trickster is the first step trickster being shared between subtlety and outlaw previously its primary ability of unseen blade was essentially an extra attack that would just oh yeah reading matilda for faint generates a thousand combo points okay it doesn't <laughs> I imagine Asa pointed this out to me the other day and I never even looked at it. <laughs> okay. Okay, it doesn't generate calm points. I just wanted to check it out. But yeah, so previously this ability was tied to faint. You can see some of the tooltip elements in here that are just completely janked out of the wazoo. It just created a very unusual playstyle. Like you wanted to send a strike, you wanted to backstab, you wanted to shadow strike and trying to fit a feint in between those abilities is awkward yeah it doesn't really cause that much energy and with how many comp points it generated which previously was two it was worth pressing technically but it felt awkward because it's a defensive ability that we're now using offensively so the unseen blade now functions off of your basic abilities so things like sinister strike and backstab shadow strike and ambush now strike with an unseen blade which deals a solid bit of damage 63,000 damage is pretty comparable to things like ambush which is 87 or sinister strike which is 38 so it's a solid bit of additional damage overall targets struck by this unseen blade are phased for five seconds phased enemies will take five percent more damage from you and cannot parry your attacks this effect may only occur once every 20 seconds and then from there you cannot build on this unseen blade mechanic with the new focus for trickster being on empowering your finisher damage output which is exciting because both outlaw and subtlety have quite a few strong finishers that they get to utilize pretty regularly whether you do damage with fat of a subtlety or for the cooldown resets but also back to back between the eyes as outlaw so from here on we have a new array of talents which are not necessarily new but the way they function are very new flawless form would be the very first row talent where unseen blade and killing spree or secret technique of subtlety both of those abilities increase the damage of your finishing moves by three percent for six seconds and multiple applications of this effect may overlap which means you'll want to use killing spree and then set up for a back-to-back -back finisher combo or you'll want to use your secret technique as early as possible and then set up as many eviscerates as possible because those abilities will now give you a window where you want to maximize your overall damage output from there on we also now have choice talents in the same row which i believe are about the same we either have smoke or mirrors with mirrors faint reduces area damage taken by additional 10 percent so a bit more defensives or enemies that are phased will actually do 5% less damage to the rogue. So this is a bit of an interesting defensive where you can either have a better feint or better protection from the target you currently have phased. And the next talent we have is Surprising Strikes, which has a lot of potential. Surprising Strikes reads, attacks that generate combo points deal 25% increased critical strike damage to distracted targets. Now, what do they exactly mean by distracted? Do they mean enemies that are hit by phased are counted as distracted because the normal effect of phased if you read it it just reads 
taking 5% more damage from Dal Tricky. But I'm gonna assume the distracted probably means also phase. And if that's the case, then giving yourself that window of phase with other talents and other abilities and trying to maximize that window as best as possible will give you quite a lot of value for the surprising strikes ability. Whether you're trying to funnel as many shadow strikes as subtlety or as many pistol shots and even ambushes as outlaw, which could be massive. In an extra, we have another choice node, either kind of a defensive offensive option or pure offense, either flick a strike, take an area damage while feint is active or dodging while evasion is active, refreshes the opportunity to strike with an unseen blade. So this one could be really good if you just happen to deal with a lot of AOE damage, you press feint, constant AOE goes out, you refresh the opportunity to get unseen blade against the target, and again, if things such as surprising strikes work off a of phase, that's an opportunity for you to get more surprising strikes out of your playstyle. Or if you can't really play around flicker strike as consistently, you can always play thousand cuts, where slice and dice grants you 10% additional auto attack speed and gives your auto attacks a chance to refresh the opportunity strike with an unseen blade. In the middle row, we have Devious Distractions, where Killing Spree or Secret Technique will apply phase to any targets struck. In the next row, we have more of that trickster thematic mechanics here with Don't Be Suspicious. Blind and Shroud Concealment have a 10% reduced cooldown. Pickpocket and Sap have a 10 yard increased range. So if you want to get around enemies and be a little bit more unseen, then Don't Be Suspicious will end up giving you quite a bit of additional utility. Or if you do a lot of Mythic Plus, you can always play with So Tricky. Tricks of Trade Threat Redirect Duration is increased to 1 hour, so if you just want to redirect that threat to a nearby tank permanently for the entire dungeon, or uh, at least an hour of a raid, then you could always play with Tricks of the Trade to make sure that aggro always goes to the target you choose, and I kind of like the utility choices between these two. And an extra, we have a very unique talent with Nimble Flurry, which has been adjusted. For Outlaw Rogues, Blade Flurry damage is increased by 10%, so that means all of your cleave is simply getting empowered while blade flurry is active which is a solid gain where this becomes even more interesting however is when you switch over to subtlety and this is the most exciting part of this talent because for subtlety your auto attacks backstabs shadow strikes and eviscerates also strike up to seven additional nearby targets for 15 percent of normal damage while Flawless Form is active, and that is the buff right here, which procs from Unseen Blade or from Secret Techniques. Basically, Subtlety gets Blade Flurry passively, so you can cleave multiple targets at once. And you can see it right here, it's actually cleaving things around you, which is pretty exciting. And it gives you a decent window, but as you use your auto attacks, as you get more of that Unseen Blade opportunity or the Phase Blade, and you get a secret technique rolling up, you actually can maintain this buff for quite a bit. So, given subtlety essentially what is Blade Flurry, I personally think is extremely exciting. Just because subtlety, one of your weaknesses generally when it comes to PvE content, has been the fact that your two target, three target, small cleave scenarios are really not that strong. Where subtlety excels in is in pure single target where you can just unleash the most amount of that focus damage. Or in huge AoE situations where a huge portion of damage becomes black powder spam as much as humanly possible. So the more enemies you hit, or the least amount of enemies you can hit, is probably your best window. Though a 2 target, 3 target, even 5 target, anything below 8 target, it kind of starts to feel awkward with the other specs of Outlaw and Assassination generally excel in a lot better. So that's a weak point for Subtle Team that is now able to kind of overcome it to a, to a degree with Nimble Flurry, since you're able to Blade Flurry as a spec of Subtle Team, I am very excited for this one in particular, just because you can focus on a bunch of eviscerates, focus damage that ends up kind of being funnel damage, that you're focusing on a single target, but everything around you is also taking a bit of that splash cleave damage, which I think could be incredible. Especially if you can set up for massive back-to-back -back eviscerates, imagine the amount of cleave damage that that could offer, which I think would be awesome and give subtlety some more focus damage output. From there on, we have a couple more talents that actually function with Distract. We talked about Distract a little earlier, but now you can either have Distract create a cloud of smoke for 10 seconds, cooldown is increased to 90 seconds, but all attacks from within the cloud apply phase guarantee. If things such as your surpri Surprising Strikes works with phase, then if all of these other abilities and mechanics work off of phase, giving yourself a guaranteed 10 seconds of phase constantly with a 1.5 minute CD, 
for your distract could be massive. The other talent is going to be no scruples. Where finishing moves have a 10% increased chance to critical strike against distracted targets. Again, if this works with normal distract, then this doesn't really work well at all. If this works, however, with phase, then that'll be a decent solid choice of either guarantees or slightly high chances to crit with the finishers. The final talent in that row is disorienting strikes. Secret technique and kill three both deal 10% additional damage i want to say and has two percent reduced cooldown and allows your next two strikes of unseen blade to ignore its normal cd so once you use those abilities you get two unseen blades guaranteed back to back which deals additional damage but also gives you that phase window as well a little bit weird warding here again rogue is a bit on the back burner when it comes to general top of the war within changes but from the way i read it it does seem like a good talent and then we have the final talent of coup de gras which essentially is what empowers you next finisher as the trickster and really helps complete the hero spec after four strikes of one same blade your next dispatch will be performed or this rate as a coup de gras functioning as if it had consumed four additional combo points and also your rogue will do a quick little animation of a finisher that kind of locks you into an animation it doesn't let you spend energy or use abilities but it does give you a very strong dispatch or eviscerate so maybe it'll end up being kind of okay if the primary target is distracted however again we're hearing this distract mechanic gain five stacks of flaws from instantly and this talent right here actually solves exactly what they mean by distracted just the word choicing is pretty uh not great but it kind of just gives us what this distracted quote-unquote mechanic means where this entire time it sounded like it was distract but it may not be it so my next strike my next sinister strike should give me the full benefits of the distracted or rather phase blade which should put a phase debuff on the target and i guess the question was earlier does distracted means literally use the ability to distract or does distracted mean phased so my next sinister strike will proc my unseen blade guaranteed and my next scooter grom if the enemy is distracted should give me a bunch of stacks of flawless form instantly so we can observe it with a simple sinister strike we got the proc got this yeah and you can see immediately got five stacks of flawless form so yes i think with this being said while it does sound incredibly confusing as to what is this distracted mechanic it essentially is phased because this ability functioned off of distracted enemy but the enemy was only phased but phase was enough to treat it as distracted so yeah this together points out that yeah distraction is phase phase distraction they just gotta figure out like a way to uh, rewrite it instead of distracted just to say phased or whatever or change phase to the enemy is now distracted or counts as distracted and change the debuff but essentially while the naming is all over the place it does function it does flow together which makes for a very coherent build now for outland particularly it is a little bit more difficult to test in, uh, from what i've been able to test subtlety is a little bit better because disoriented strikes and killing spree interactions don't really work since your killing spree essentially just never does damage it actually just missed uh, it usually just doesn't even actually have anything damage wise here it doesn't even track in combat log so for outlaw i've had very 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 limited time testing this though for subtlety it's actually kind of functional trickster becomes a much more coherent hero spec as of this build because it allows both outlaw and subtlety works to focus on the finisher damage and amplifying their damage output of finishers for outlaw this makes you want to spec into more finishers such as killing spree which is a finisher ability but for subtlety just empower a secret technique which was gonna be ran the next expansion anyway unless they ended up nerfing it greatly or something but with everything being said either way trickster is in a much better position than where it was before trickster as a hero talent is starting to become a little bit better for both subtlety and outlaw and it's actually just i think as good as fade bound at least in terms of mechanics and how things function it has a gameplay hook which is fun and interesting to play into it has a unique element with its utilitarian stuff with talents that just don't be suspicious and so tricky but also the cloud cover smoke bomb thing that you can do which can also be quite a lot of fun all in all, I actually am a big fan of Trickster and the changes that went to it so far. And I think if you are someone who's looking to play some Outlaw or Subtlety or even Assassination, I mean, between the two hero towns of Fatebound and Trickster, that's a lot of good options already. And once they get the Death Stalker fixed up, hopefully over the next few weeks, I think Rogues are looking a lot better now. Previously, I haven't really done a lot of videos on Rogues for the War Within Alpha 
because there was just not a lot to talk about. We've barely gotten any changes, and when we did get new stuff, most of it just didn't work well. So this is my first video of me talking about rogues, where we're actually starting to look a little more positive, and I'm very excited about the way that the class has been developing thus far. All in all, very excited for what they've done to Trickster in this beta build, and if you're subtle to rogues playing around with Trickster over on the beta, definitely give the hero spec a go. Put spec into secret technique and try to get as many strong finishes as possible because there's now quite a bit of synergy to how you can play around with Trickster and the amount of burst damage you can even unleash with this playstyle, which is going to be a ton of fun as either outlaw or subtlety specs. As always though, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I also want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the hero, the trickster hero talents? Like, especially since rogues haven't really gotten any good news so far, this is a big one. This is awesome. And the fact that this actually functions and it's coherent, except for except for outlaw, because killing speed doesn't just doesn't really work at the moment. But in general, there's quite a lot of potential that could be had with the trickster playstyle. And this gets me super, super excited. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. We'd like to hear from you as per usual. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, in the description of every single video and live stream, we have a link to our Discord community channel. Probably the best place to reach out to me directly in case you want to let me know what you thought about this video or hang out with the rest of the community to discuss some of the upcoming changes. Join our Discord to become part of the community. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in another video.